So, good morning. So, today, ang magiging topic natin sa ating video is all about inverse variation. So, inverse variation is one of uh, one of the examples of variation na meron tayo sa high school mathematics. So, when we say inverse variation, uh, these are the statements na pwede nyo encounter. The first one is, y varies inversely as x. And y is inversely proportional to x. All of these statements are equivalent to this kind of formula. At pwede silang i-translate bilang y is equal to k all over x. So, for topic today, meron tayong hinihandang dalawang example. The first one, ito muna tayo. Solve natin to. Sabi dito, if y varies inversely as x, and y is equal to 4, when x is equal to 6, find y if x is equal to 16. So, dito, before natin isolve to, medyo nakakalito kasi ang daming, ano, ang daming value ng x and y. So, ang dami pang statements. So, ang ginagawa namin dito is you need to break down the problem. The first breakdown or the first part is here. From if to this part of the statement. And then the second one is from y up to this one. And yung second part. And then, this is the last part. Yung first part natin, it will give you the hint na, ay, ito ay isang example ng inverse variation. Sabi dito, since ito ay isang example ng inverse variation, we can translate the first part as y is equal to k all over x. So that is the, ano, the formula that we're going to use. Ngayon, gagamitin natin yung second part para mahanap ngayon si constant of variation. Since we have y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 6, so our new equation is 4 is equal to k all over 6. And then, to find k, you need to multiply the whole equation by 6. And this one is 6. 6 times 4 is equal to 24. And then this time, you will cancel out 6. And then the remaining 1 is yung ating k. Therefore, the constant of variation is equal to 24. Now, to find the value of y in our problem, let's go back with our general formula. We have y is equal to kx. Since meron tayong value ng k, itong 24 na to, ilalagay natin sa ating general formula. So, our new equation for the variation is y is equal to 24 all over x. Ang target natin dito is hanapin yung value ng y. Since meron tayong x is equal to 16, ang gagawin natin is you need to substitute 16 for x. So, y is equal to 24 all over 16. And then that's it. You need to just simplify the given fraction or the fraction. We have 24 all over 16. So, your y here is equal to what? To, let's try... Uh, we have 3 all over 2. This is the value of y when x is equal to 16. That's it. 